showing you something really amazing. I'm not a photographer, I'm not a filmer, I'm just, it's my hobby. And we use this for connecting this with our uh, health software, the health navigator, the software core system. But I'm showing you something that you can do, I just set it up in a very simple way with a Sony cyber shot, so something, nothing special. And so I, I have a chair here and I will turn this now. I press record and then it's, you just turn it, but it's, the VE 3 dim is so easy to operate that you can even walk around um, hand-wise, you don't even have to have a tripod and it works. The only thing I saw, it doesn't work if you film out in the open where there's no background because it really needs tri triangulation to do the trick of turning a 2D uh, film into a 3D object. So you do a one turn, let's say about 40 seconds, and then you turn this off. Uh, that's about it and you can experiment. I'm sure there's many ways you can improve this with a background but as I say you can use it even handheld and it will work not with a micron <laughs> resolution but it really gives amazing um, effects for somebody who is more artistically minded. So hello, this is Kiran with energeticmedicine.com and I'm giving you a little demo on the VI3DIM um, 3D modeling software that works without a laser scanner and I can tell you I'm not affiliated to them. I, we are doing this and we're using this only for adding new models to our uh, medical database, 3D database. and. Uh, so I have, I'm not affiliated, I make, make no money with this, but I'm just fascinated because I think it's like the beginning of photography, but now for 3D. So what you do, you just take a video with a n normal shoot, point and shoot camera, uh, put it in high definition, but that's it, what you need. And then you load it to um, uh, any any place will do. I have it here in, in the C drive with VI 3 dim version 2 title and I will show you now for this one seated Krishna uh, the the how you do it. Basically you go to all programs and then accessories and then command prompt and then go to the directory where you have your video. You do this like CD slash this goes to the root directory to the C directory and then you change it to um, VI3 dim version 2 ok and now you put in the name of the program is rec dot but and then you put the name of the video here it's seated Krishna and it's an MTS file. Okay, return. And see now it start it's opening right away uh, the launcher and you see here the video and you see it's amazing how <laughs> it's just fascinating to watch how this system is tracking all the points and then does triangulation and uh, you have here you see the images, this is 69, so at this point I did not even uh, turn it. You see I'm turning it by hand. So uh, you can do a little bit of experimenting how fast you want to do this. Also the lighting I'm sure has a lot of effect, has a lot of impact. But it's as, as simple as this. You can even walk around with the camera if you have a, a image stabilization or a very stable hand and you can do this um, but I have to say it's not so good if there's like a infinite background then the triangulation becomes difficult so you have should have something like a wall or here like a, the projection screen behind it and so I'll stop it for a moment and then I show you the result 
uh, this can take up to half an hour uh, because it's like several hundred thousand points and then triangulation you see the number of points each one has to be calculated and while you do this you cannot do anything else on your computer it's taking over complete control you can say well not complete but almost complete and that's why they also have this archaic uh, DOS interface that they don't have to deal with this <laughs> Uh, source rubber the windows <laughs> windows system it's called so that's it so now from i stop it for a moment yes so now it's run through it took a half an hour and actually it stopped once and i had to restart it this also happens i mean there's some things there there's minor things that need to be addressed but overall it's amazing so and then when you see there's two control uh, prompts opening the one uh, when it shows here your um, directory again then it means it's it's completed and sometimes again it can take an hour and uh, once it's completed you have in your uh, folder actually um, these five files there's the uh, the points ply there's the mesh ply there is a, a texture uh, map 4096 by 4096 in JPEG and there's the object MTL file that uh, you need when you want to do um, sometimes when you want to use it with it's like Cinema 4D and then there's the object file um, and let's see for example the, uh, the size here this is 60 megabytes the, the mesh object file and the mesh ply file is, is about half the size okay but then look at this it looks like this amazing you can open the ply file in MeshLab uh, that's a free free uh, f uh, software that you can download and make look at this here it's just amazing 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 uh, I mean I've tried many things but this is just it's just simple you see I had standing on a like a a box here in the box is there but you can of course here with mesh lab you can take this out but there's no holes you see no holes and everything worked fine even I could have done it a little bit better if I would go up and, and then uh, have this area which is not 100% defined but it's very very good and then um, you can look here uh, this is the other prompt that gives you an overview of what's happening and that's the viewer that comes with it and it's also uh, uh, very nice here you can just move with your mouse and when you do shift and mouse you can zoom in look at this here or when you go to control and mouse then you can pan it yes and then I show you here I already imported it in in Cinema 4D and then when I want to do the texture I add here the texture uh, and uh, there of course I have to go to my folder where I have it and it's VE3 dim and there is the texture file is is here okay and here you can See, let's see, uh, of course, rotate it here. Let's let's look at this and then do a quick, uh, quick scan and um, render here. Look at this. There's no lights, no no any anything um, that I could do to improve it. Uh, it's just amazing. So that's it, and uh, have fun with it. <laughs> enjoy and thank you very much Vitali. and one thing I also wanted to say here if you look at script uh, at plugins I had a very very uh, great help from Keith Young he made this Reptile Pro uh, plugin where you can all, uh, import and export object files with a lot of extra uh, features so go to reptilepro.com it's fifty dollars it's really worth it so um, that's for now. So thank you, Vitali, and thank you, uh, uh, Kis. Thank you very much. So you see, everything's really very easy. And then I put the models here. And this is from my first week <laughs> of working with VI 
3D uh, into a uh, Cinema 4D and made a two, 2000, 2000 images uh, video that you saw. Uh, but then I want to show you one more thing which is really amazing. Then you, there's a new service that's called P3D.in and uh, you can upload it there. Look at this here and um, this is just uh, also again a, a, a first version. They are just coming out soon with another one. Uh, that's that's what Daniel told me there at p3d.in. So look at this and then what you can do with this, you can go and put this on your website. You see I put this, this model here. You can move it on your website. I show you this other model here. This is my website. Um, it has a lot of very outstanding um, material about the new medicine, uh, energetic medicine, bioresonance. That's what actually is my my business. And here is a uh, see that's a recording of my heartbeat with <laughs> with this new equipment. And then you have it here. We have it here on a WordPress uh, site, and my webmaster Vitalius, who is also very good, uh, he put it on WordPress. So, uh, of course, you should not make it too big. For example, um, this one is really uh, relatively easy. Um, with only six mega, six seven megabytes, but here when you open then with the maximize, imagine it's in front here. See, and you can use uh, even several one on the same page. So that's really the internet of the future. And um, look at this. Then you can you can actually zoom in. Uh, to, uh, see here. This is a this is another model I made with with, with Cinema 4D. So that's really that's my fun, <laughs> and uh, see you can pan it here with the right, and with the middle click you can zoom in, and then look here, you can even go into the pipes, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so so much um, from the w the to use this on on the internet. I mean it's just as I say it's a, it's fun for me, but for some people this might be. Uh, something they can use in their business and thank you very much f to Vitali at VI3DIM, to Keys at um, Riptide and to Daniel at P3D. So thank you very much.